Hi, in this short video, we're going to look at how to view responses to your forms. So the first thing is, this is a form that we created in a previous video. I am going to go to the, um, the user's view of this, where you can actually fill it out. And you can see that I've, I've already come here and I've filled out the fields and submit. And there you go. Now you're getting um, an indication that the form has been submitted. Okay. Also, when you come back to your original form, and I am now not in the user view, but in my view where I can click on these and edit these if I want or add more, um, notice that questions is the first option above the top. The second is responses. So if I click on responses, it's going to show me, and I, I submitted it once prior to, um, to this video. So you can see all the information is in here for my two current responses. It's going to give it to me in this um, graph form, which can be very useful. Also, from here, this is a summary view. I can also view it by question. So now I can see that Roger had one response, Jane had one response. Okay. And I can also view it by individual. Okay. So here it is. This is just Roger's information. So it's right up here. So I'm seeing the form as, as Roger filled it out or as Roger's parents filled it out. Okay. Now this can be useful, but it can also be useful to get these directly in a spreadsheet. Right now they're being saved out to the Google Cloud. You can look at them here. But if you want them in a spreadsheet, where you can organize them in a different way, look at them a little differently. You're going to come in here and you're going to say select destination for responses. Now an alternate to that is to simply click on this link to sheets here, this green thing, and it opens up and it brings you to this create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. We're going to look at select an existing spreadsheet extensively in the future, but for now we're going to use the create. You cancel that for a second. So I could either click on the little green box or I could say select the destination and I get to the same window. Create a new spreadsheet and just hit create. It's going to pop open for us in a second. Oh. Or I can now when I click on that green button, it pops open my spreadsheet. Notice that in addition to the questions I asked for, it pulled in this um, timestamp. So exactly when I, exactly when I submitted it, then my other fields are present here in the order that they are on the form, in the order that I created them. Now, once you submit the form, if I go back and I change up the order and I, I add some questions or I delete some questions from the form, this may not reflect exactly what's on the form anymore. It'll have all the correct fields, but they may not be in the same order. Okay. And you can just close that. Okay, anytime that you want to see, you know, another, another student comes in. Fills out the form. Okay, none. I'm not going to upload these files at this point, but... Parent is only available on th Thursdays after school in person. Um, student's birth date is out in April. And this time field really doesn't mean anything at all. Um, it's just something we put on there to demonstrate the use. Okay, I'm not going to put in a comment and I'm going to submit. Now, when I come back to my form, I now see three responses. If I go in and go to the summary view, I'm going to see all that information represented. If I go to the question view, um, you can see that this is the first name question. If I click the little arrow, it's the last name. It's the prior school. Hamilton had two and Grant had one. Um, student interests. You see your different responses there, etc. And if I go to the individual, now I can look at it as a student. But if I want, I simply click on the little green box, it opens up the spreadsheet, and I can work with it in here. 
Okay, now be careful if you do edit information directly in here, it is edited. Okay, so it's not going to just revert back um, on its own. The other thing that you may be interested in looking at here is that there's this little slider that says accepting responses. So by default, it's on, which means students can fill out the form or their parents can fill out the form. But when you're done with a form, you simply can slide it to not accepting responses. And then later on, if, if this form is only to be used over the weekends, um, then on Monday morning, you can slide it to off. And on Friday afternoon, you can slide it to on. Okay, so turn it on and off as you need it. Okay, that's the basics of setting up a Google Sheet and viewing responses in different ways. And we're going to look at all of that in a lot more depth as we go on.